<laughs> wow, that's cool. <laughs> oh man, crazy guy. Crazy guy. Can I not fill it with oil? Oh, man. What are you burning in here? Ow, ow. What'd you do to this tractor? Well, I, I kind of forgot to put oil in it. Why are you? Got here a box of tubes. Stupid thing. Hey, you know what? Yeah, just dive into this thing. Stupid tubes. Come on. Ah, ah, crap. Box. Don't you know how to open a box? Oh, wow. You don't even know how to open a box. That tape was on there really good. Look what you did to them inner tubes. Well, pretty good job. <sighs> you know what, Junior? Yeah, yeah, Bob, what's that? Why don't you go get Mr. Cross with his lawnmower and then after that, why don't you just take the rest of the afternoon off? Well, how'd you do? Pretty good. I don't think I managed to screw anything up that time. <laughs> well, that's good. Having a better day? Oh, I am. Looking up a little. What's that noise? What's that noise I hear? I don't know. What is that? Somebody out here? Sounds like somebody's crying for help. Andy! Andy, what are you doing on the ground? I think your kid ran me over when he's coming back. I didn't run nobody over. You gotta be more careful. You need to look where you're walking. I'm sorry. Anyway, you think you can take a look at my son? Yeah, what's wrong with it? It's not oiling. Oh yeah, sure, here. Let me take it in the shop. Oh, thanks. Take Come on, on, Junior. Yeah. Be more careful. Look where you're going. Pterodactyl here, and today we're going to go over the oiler on this here Stilch MS250. Now Uncle Andy said it wasn't oiling, so we're going to run a couple tests first, and then we're going to go through the whole oil system, and I'm going to show you how to remove it and replace it and things to check for. So the first thing we're going to do is take the bar and chain off, run it, and make sure it ain't oiling. Alright, oil is supposed to come out of this hole here. So I'm going to start it, and we're going to see if oil is going to percolate out of that hole. Sweet smell of two-cycle oil. Ain't oiling. Uncle Andy was right. Nothing percolating out of that hole. So, we're going to check there's a gear under here. The way this works is when this is spinning, it spins a gear, and that's what makes it oil. A cheap chainsaw, the oiler runs all the time. So when the saw is running, it's percolating oil. But on a stilch, it only percolates oil when the bar and the chain is spinning. So next thing we're going to do is pull the clutch off and uh, check that gear that's under there. Right. 
Okay, we gotta pull the clutch off to get to that gear that's underneath the clutch. So this is where your piston tool would come in handy if you only have hand tools. Shove that in where the spark plug goes and then put your socket on here. Left-handed threads, so you're gonna wanna act like you're tightening a bolt to take it off. If you have an impact like I do, then you can use an impact. And I put the impact on tightening, seeing it spun it off. So underneath there is that gear. So you want to make sure the teeth are good on the worm gear and this clip. Because see how this works? This little notch in the clutch cover is where that clip goes. So maybe just the tip of your clip is uh, wore off. And it ain't spinning this gear to pump the oil, but this all looks good. So now we're gonna keep moving on. So now there's your pump, there's your oil pump in there. Now I've taken these off and they've just been clogged with uh, sawdust. Now I know this saw's got oil in it, I checked it. So another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dump all the bar and chain oil out and we're gonna run it through a screen and we're gonna kinda see how much oil or uh, how much sawdust is in the oil tank because maybe it just plugged up with wood chips. All right, I got me a paint strainer from the store, parts store, because it's got a screen in it. I'm going to empty the tank into there, and we're going to see what kind of boogers are in there. And then I'm going to shine a light inside the oil tank, look around. Then take a light and shine it down in there and look around, see what kind of boogers are in there. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, now I'm going to show you how to take that oiler apart. Shine in there, Mr. Cameraman. We got some boogers, but not a lot. Now I'm going to show you how to remove that oiler, because you're probably thinking, how's he going to kick that out? How are you going to get that little booger out of there? Well, you have to take it out from the bottom. So this means you got to take this handle off. So you got to take these screws out, pop off these caps, Take them screws out, and then this handle will come off. Got to take this off next. Clean it up real good. There's where the oil comes out of the tank and goes through this plastic piece and goes up to that pump. So we're going to take this out. Oh, stomach's growling. Must be getting towards supper time. All right, now that metal thing's down in there, and you're probably wondering, how are you going to get that out? How do you dig that out of there? Well, I'm going to show you how. All right, you're going to need an M5 metric screw. This one's about an inch long. They put threads in there. Stilts did. So you screw that in, and then you just grab this head of the screw with a pair of pliers, and there you go, there's your dinner. You pull that oiler out. See how it's got a slot in it? See how it looks on the end? It's got a slot. You know what? And you know what else they do? Now I highlighted this little symbol on the bottom of the saw. I highlighted it with a marker so you could see it. See that? That tells you which way the oiler goes back in. That's that little slot I showed you on the side. So when you go to put the new oiler in, you put it in correctly. So I'm looking at this here oiler and there's no boogers in there. Sometimes I've seen this packed up with uh, sawdust chips and then had to clean it out, put it back together and it worked. I think this one's just wore out. This thing is probably about $30, $25-$30 for this oiler. So I'm going to put a new one in. 
and then we're gonna test it. Well, while we're at it, we might as well pop this hose off because it's got that filter on the end of it and we'll check that. So you just take a screwdriver and pop that out and it'll all come out. It's just rubber. You know what, it's fitting kind of loose. Maybe I should replace this too, because that thing just popped right out. Yeah, I think it's weak. The rubber's weak. But there it is. That comes out as one assembly, and there's your little screen on the end. So you might as well check this too. See, there's a booger on there. There's a wood booger. So we'll clean this up, and I'll get a new hose, and we'll put a new hose on too. Might as well replace it. We come this far, might as well just do it all. Do it all. That's what I say, do it all. Clean this out, just pull back through it. You don't have to replace this. Just replace the hose if your hose is hard. This one's hard as a carp. So I'm gonna put a new one on. Okay, we're gonna check this passage. And to check that, you're gonna use some carb spray or something with a straw on it, some kind of spray. Now, when I spray back through there, it should come out of the passage in here. If it doesn't, there may be another problem. Hear that noise? And look, it ain't coming through there. You know why? I found out why this thing ain't oiling for Uncle Andy. Right next to the muffler. See it? Squirting up. There's a little plug that goes in there and that plug done popped out. And that's why this thing quit oiling. So this oiler is probably good. So we don't need to replace this. It's that. That's the problem down in there. So I'm gonna pull the muffler off and I'm gonna show you that passage in there. All right, here's the problem with this saw. There's a plug that goes in there and it doesn't come out. And you got to you see this is how it's cross drilled this way. So that passage has got to be plugged off. But at least I showed you all the how the oiler and all that works before I found this problem that was wrong with this saw. So at least you know how the oiler works and how to remove this. So probably if you got a, one of these model saws that ain't oiling, this would be the first thing to check. Now, I'm going to come up with a fix for fixing this. Stay tuned. All right, so that's the problem. That little plug popped out, and I went and I looked on the parts breakdown, and you can't buy just that little plug to stick in that hole, so this saw's pretty much junk, so this guy's just going to have to go and buy a new chainsaw. There ain't no way to fix that. Say, gotcha. Don't click off yet. I got a fix for it. So what you do is quarter 20 tap, and a quarter 20 set screw. I'm gonna tap that hole and then I'm gonna put this set screw in there. Now the trick is make sure you don't put the set screw in too deep that you block off that passage that's drilled this way. That's the trick. Check it, make sure you didn't go in too deep. You can use this as your little depth gauge. And be careful you don't split the plastic because then you're really screwed. That's pretty damn tight. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna press my luck. All right, let's put it all back together. See, she oils. Oh yeah, one other thing. On these oilers, they make a high volume oil pump, a high output one, and that's under this part number here. 1123-640-3201. The other standard one is 3200. Now some saws take the 3200, but if you want to increase the oil, order the 
1123-640-3201. This puts out a little bit more oil. So you can upgrade your saw if you want for more oil. Now I'm going to reinstall the oil pump. Remember, line that up. There's also a little dent in here that tells you to line up that groove that way. And then just push it in and it's going to stop. So you can see it's about a quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch down. Then you're going to reinstall your hose. Good thing we took this apart and checked everything because this hose was bad. Pop the hose in with the filter on it. Check this O-ring and stuff on this little piece here, this little booger. You know, clean everything too. Blow everything out, clean it, make sure everything's clear. And that goes in there, into the hose. And then that goes into that little half inch down. Put your screw in there, your plastic screw. Now if you use the impact to take this apart or drill, I suggest reassembling it by hand. So that's all back together. There it is, there's the pump. I put the muffling back on. Gotta put this on, now this says top on it. So you know, that goes on the tippy top. Oh, getting ahead of myself. Where's the gear? All right, gotta put the gear on. We checked the gear, the gear's good. Come on, little gear man. There's the gear. Now this washer says top, tippy top. So that means top. You should see the word top. I'm gonna say top one more time just because I like saying the word top. Left-handed threads. And release that brake. Impact it or again. Piston stop, so you can crank her down tight. Where's my socket at? I got stuff laying all over the place. I hammered it down. Hammer, hammer time. Put a little grease on this bearing since you got it out. Might as well grease her up. Where's my grease at? Greased her up. Now, check this while you got it apart too. Look at all that oil and boogers and stuff in there. Look at all that crud that accumulated in there. Might as well clean that up. You got it apart. Don't just slap it back together. Look at all that crap in there, them boogers. Clean that out. There we are, right on Mr. Cameraman's foot. Oh, you'll be okay, you big baby. Now there's that notch. So you gotta find that that rod on that oiler gear is right there. So I'm gonna line that up. See, they even put a little mark on there for you. All right, that dropped down on there. And your clip, your washer, and your clip. Now I don't like the way that clip. I just put that on by hand. See, look at that. That ain't tight. I'm going to squeeze it down a little bit. Don't squeeze it too hard. Might break it. There, that's better. Now, put the handle back on. Now I'm dropping stuff all over the place. Slip that handle in. Come on, Mr. Handle. Alright, I got her all back together. I'm going to fire it up and see if the oil is going to be percolating. Alright, 
Shows you everything I know on how to fix these oilers on these multi model MS250 saws and all them other models that it covers. And there's your dinner. Junior! Junior, before you head out again, let Andy know his saw's ready. Let's go, Andy. You can do it, Andy. Oh, you can do it, Andy. There you go. Oh. Oh, hey, Andy. What's up? Hey, uh, I think your saw's ready. Oh, yeah. That's us. I'll have to make my way inside. Hopefully, he's not starting to stay oh. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Uh-oh! This ain't looking good for 